What is good, everybody? Today we're back with another 2 in 1 WWE Elite action figure review with the WWE Elite Series 113 Kofi Kingston and Carlito figures. Now, I'm excited for these figures in some different ways. Of course, yesterday we did cover CM Punk and Tiffany Strat. You guys missed those figures, definitely go check those out, as well as Elite 114. But today we're back with two figures from this set Elite 113 Kofi and Carlito. Very excited for Carlito in particular. No offense to Kofi, I love Kofi Kingston. Longtime member of the WWE Elite Series and Mattel, but we have not ever had an elite Carlito and today we're going to unbox this guy. Can't wait for it. Even if it's not perfect, we're going to unbox it. Can't wait to do so today. But today, man, we have two good looking figures here. You have Kofi Kingston's going to match our Elite 112 Xavier. Was that Elite 112? God, that feels like forever ago, but we do have the white gear there looking pretty good. Got a nice shot of Kofi on the side and back there. Nice little, nice little shot of him on the back of the packaging there. Rest of the figures in the wave. And then we do have Carlito who hopefully thinks I'm cool as he spins around here, man. But I am excited to get this Carlito. It is a modern day Carlito. We do have an Elite coming in the legend line later this year, but you do have Mr. Cool himself on the front back. Look at him jacked as hell, man. Looking good over there. Looking good, but what we're going to do is crack both of these figures out of the packaging, find out what they're about, see if they're any good, of course, and see how they fit into our collections, but I can't wait anymore, man. Let's unbox these. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. before we get into it, man, if you guys want to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but with that being said, let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of the packaging, and find out what they're all about. So here we have Carlito and Kofi Kingston out of the packaging, and I'm liking these figures, man. We have some new stuff going on with both of them. Fully new. Fully new things we've never seen before that I'm excited to get into, and I think you guys are going to appreciate them as well, but we're, we're going to dive into all the details, man. Let's start things off with Carlito's accessories and the Carlito figure, and then we'll take a closer look at Kofi Kingston, who is no stranger to the Elite line, has a ton of figures. We're going to take a little closer look at him on the second go-around, so let's dive into Carlito. So getting into Carlito's accessories, we do get some cloth goods here as well, some interchangeable hands. Now, you do get the plan plain black t-shirt with the Carlito on there, which looks pretty good. I like that. You know, it's just a standard run-of-the-mill t-shirt. It's a black color. It does have the Velcro on the back, but it is a high-quality shirt, you know. I'm not going to complain ever about cloth goods, so we do have that. And it seems like most figures in this wave do include some sort of cloth. Actually, that's not true, Brad. There's only, this is legitimately one of two figures in this set that includes cloth goods. It was Elite 114 that had a lot of cloth goods in it, but Elite 113 kind of slacking on the cloth goods. Now, by God, you can't have Carlito without his signature apple. Now, as an apple, okay, as an apple accessory, I think that there are a few different things here. First of all, the color is kind of off. It's it's very, I don't know, it's definitely like cartoony looking. It doesn't look like a realistic apple. It would be nice to see a better sculpt here. It, it's a bit like round, I guess. It just doesn't give me apple vibes. It kind of looks like a tomato, to be honest, and the size of it is a little small, but one thing I can say is I really love this new apple holding hand. Look at that. That is exactly how you hold an apple. You just, you ever pick up an apple? and just want to gun it across the room at a brick wall. I love picking up a good apple right here. So you have this new skull that you can slide the apple in there and he can hold it. Now, another thing is I wish that he had some sort of interchangeable head sculpt where he's either chewing the apple or spitting the apple out like a like an apple spitting head sculpt. But I do like this. And I also wish that the apple had a bite taken out of it or something. But we'll take this. I don't hate it by any stretch. It's something, you know, it's a good start. But in the future, I'd like to see that. But I do like this apple holding hand sculpt. It's very nice. Nice, good textures and stuff. Outside of that, you do have Mike holding hands here, and the left hand has the black hand tape and black peg. And now this is sort of a new, you know, this is kind of the AEW microphone equivalent. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like every single figure comes with these hands now. It's kind of crazy, but it's the new Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance style hands with the hands out, put the hands on the hips, all that. The left hand does have the black hand tape and black peg, and the right hand has nothing, but it's certainly worth talking about that, you know, every AEW Jazzwares figure comes with an AEW microphone, it seems like. Well, every WWE Elite comes with these style interchangeable hands. Now, starting off at the top of the head sculpt with the Carlito figure, man, I like this head sculpt. I think it has a lot of likeness. I like the entire thing about it. The only thing I really have an issue with off the cuff is the skin tone. I think the skin tone is wrong. I think they need to lighten it up. Similar to what we saw on the, I think it was the Walking Wild, I think, from the LWO 5 pack. I think that skin tone would work, or even the Dominic Mysterio regular skin tone that they use for him would work a lot better. But I don't hate it. I like it. It's a good figure overall from what I'm seeing. Good likeness in the head sculpt overall. I really love the use of the Xavier Woods Bobby Roode torso. It's an excellent torso choice right here. Really good job there. Really like the shoulders and arms too. He was very jacked in his later run here and I think this works out very very well. White wrist tape here. Really like this gear too. It says Bad Apple right there on the side and on the back you get nothing. And on the other side you have kind of the palm tree that says Carlito in a nice colorway. You guys know I love a white gear so this looks really really good. You do have the hand tape on the left side like we discussed and then everything 
everything like that. Now, I do believe this is where he returned at Fastlane 2023, but I could be wrong about that. But you do have the white knee pads. I kind of think the thighs are a little large. I would have expected a less, you know, jack thigh mold, but it's not the biggest deal of all time. And it may be actually something you could swap out, which I'll get into. Like, you know, it pretty much comes down to switching the thigh, and you'll just remove this. And basically, you have a smaller thigh mold, and you'll just make the trunks a little shorter would be the cause there. But at the bottom, we do have the regular black boots, and he is actually pinless. He has pinless joints. You can't really see it here, but they are pinless. However, the figure is very buttery smooth. Tight ab crunch, tight waist. Good kick forward here. You know, you don't have any of that tight issue there where it snaps back in place. He can go out wide too. Same thing with the other leg. I feel like this figure is very poseable. Upper thigh cut. You have a very buttery smooth knee joint right there. Double jointed knee, but it is pinless. It just doesn't have the tightness, which is good. You get the boot swivel, and you do have the new ankles here and new feet, which allow for a better ankle rocker, and they do go down and up. A little stiff there, and I'm still, I don't know, I'm kind of halfway on the boots. I like the aesthetic of the boots. I just kind of, I don't know how I'm feeling about the rest of it there, but it's your standard elite articulation. But as far as some figure comparisons are concerned, we do have the members of the LWO from the LWO 5-pack elite set that did also include Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega, that Mattel Creations 5-pack that we had there. But this does look good. I do feel like the figure is very tall. I'm pretty sure Carlito is only 5'10", so I don't know why this man is so damn big. He is massive compared to these figures. At least that's what it looks like here. And maybe I'm wrong there. I just, I don't know. Something about him just looks so damn big. I don't, I don't really know if that's, uh, you know, on purpose or what the deal is there. However, overall aesthetics of the figure is good. I enjoy that about the figure. It's just that he, I don't know. I, I like the figure. I think it's quality. Now for Kofi Kingston's accessories, you don't get a whole lot. You get interchangeable hands. You get an entrance vest. And the entrance vest is fair. It's white. It's got the blue and teal with the flowers and everything going on on the back. You do get the logo on the back there, which is pretty cool. And I can't remember the exact inspiration around this. Somebody may can let me know, but the people that make their gear think it's main event gear. They do a fantastic job on their gears and, you know, the design of them and the aesthetics of them. They do a really good job, and Really, really good job over there. And a huge shout out to all the gears they make for the New Day. They do a great job on it. But you do get this run-of-the-mill accessory. We've seen this so many times. It's kind of unbelievable how many times we've seen this vest mold. It's been existing for a long time now, but it gets the job done. So, what do you, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. And outside of that, you do get the mic holding hands for Kofi Kingston. And you guessed it, he also comes with the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands, but I will say in the packaging, I think the way they were posed created this natural like scooping water kind of hands which is kind of crazy. If you guys can see that, it's got that natural bend that I kind of like. It kind of looks more natural. There's something about that that I like there, but you know, it's supposed to be more flat like this one, but I don't know. Something about that kind of made me, it brought me some joy for some reason. So getting into Kofi Kingston, we do have a brand new head sculpt. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new head sculpt. The last one that we got was a little bit stoic. This one looks pretty good though. I like the light and everything. Hair looks really good as well. Hair sculpt I don't think is new, but I do believe the face sculpt is new. But I do like the Kofi. You know, this is the same standard Kofi formula we've seen. His own unique torso. He's got the same standard arms, black elbow pads. He has all of his tattoos on there, which they always make super dark for some reason. I think they could make those more realistic. I don't know why they're so saturated dark like that, but they do look good. They don't, like, harm the figure. It's just I think they're really, really dark for some reason. I don't know why they make them so. I wish they would make them more realistic looking, I guess, but we do have the New Day on the butt here, and I like these tights and everything. They do look very good. The white with the flower petals and the blue and the, I almost said green. I mean, there is green, but I was talking about black right there, but I do like this gear. It is a solid gear there. This is the same Kofi legs we've come to know, so when you get down here, there won't be shin cut, which is very upsetting, but this is when he's kind of took the kick, you know, he took the kick pads off. He's been rocking the J's, but this is a brand new deal, man. These are brand new shoes, and out with the old John Cena shoe mold, and in with the brand new John Cena shoe mold, or the new sneaker mold. I guess you could say. And I'm looking around if I have one near here. Hold up. I got to grab an example. So comparing the new shoe mold to the old shoe mold, you'll see slight differences here. And a lot of it comes into the tooling and the sculpt, but there is kind of a sculpted in on the new shoe mold. And then there is a little bit of a lip from the tongue, but they're definitely different. You can't really tell at this angle as much, but it's definitely different. And I'm trying to hold the figures here, but they are slightly different. And I like the new shoe mold. I think they did a good job here. It seems to stand a lot better, which was the whole goal, man. This one could safely retire and burn in hell. Now, with this Kofi Kingston, I don't have any issues with the legs either. It's, I mean, it's pretty much just Kofi, you know? So, I, you know, there's no newness going on there. The only new parts we have are going to be the shoes here, which are a little loose, but you do get a little bit of an ankle rocker there with the new foot mold. And do these ankles go down and up? You got to be very careful. See, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because this upper ankle part is too short or it's shorter, it will, it, if you pull 
this down too hard and you don't hold this in place, you can easily like pull the foot off or snap the peg or something like that. So if you articulate the foot like this, you want to hold that in place and then push that up because if you don't, you will make these a lot more loose than they already are. So that's just something to note there. But everything else is good. Good ab, ab crunch, good waist. All this stuff is good. Again, it's kind of standard protocol when it comes to Kofi Kingston articulation. You just have new shoes practically. But I do want to get into some Kofi Kingston figure comparisons, but you'll see there he's not leaning forward. You know, he's not leaning forward. He's not falling down on his face, which is just such a breath of fresh air when it comes to that John Cena shoe mold that I just can't stand. And for your Kofi Kingston Elite 114 comparisons, we do have the Elite 112 Xavier Woods and one of the Big E figures. I can't remember if it was Elite 95 or one, one of those waves right there. Maybe Elite 98. I can't remember off the top of the dome anymore. But it's cool to see these up next to each other. It's kind of the most, you know, the closest thing you can get to matching gear. I think they did a good job color matching and using the same colors. But what's crazy is with our new Jay Uso, first of all, these colors all match. This is all the same exact black, white, and blue color, is they give us a new shoe. So this is not the same shoe and ankle that comes on this shoe and ankle. They're completely different. So this one's more of a sock, and this one is actually a full shoe. So that's actually pretty cool. So uh, one thing I'm immediately doing is I want to put these shoes onto this J just to see what it looks like, because I know it'll be fire, but I just wanted to mention that. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 113 review of Kofi Kingston and Carlito. Let's start things off with Kofi Kingston, man. I really like this. I like the head sculpt. I like the formula. I am a, you know, I'm a bit iffy on the legs here. It's the same no shin cut. I really wish they would give this guy shin cut. I just think they would improve the figure so much. You get the shin cut and you get the ankle cut. It would just sort of allow for a much better mobility, I think, when posing him around. But it is a really good Kofi. I think the best thing about this Kofi, though, is not really the attire. It's not the figure itself. For me, it's the implementation of the brand new John Cena shoe mold. This is a brand new shoe mold we have not seen. I thought coming in that it was the exact same shoe mold that we were getting on the Usos, and it is not. It's a completely different thing, and I think on Action Figure Surgery Episode 100, we're going to do a shoe swap between those two figures and kind of look at that, and we may keep the Jimmy the, or the J the same. We'll see, or the Kofi. I don't know if I'm going to put the white socks and white shoes on the Kofi. I'll have to see about that, but I definitely want to get a few copies so we'll have that, but it does look like it's going to be a lot more stable than shoes of the past with the John Cena shoe mold. I think that that one could finally retire right before it was of age to drive, and I think that that is a good implementation there, but let's get into the Carlito, man. The Carlito, I think, is so damn good. I really like the head sculpt. I like the formula choice. I don't think it's a perfect figure by, ch by chance. I really like the use of the Apollo Crews torso and the Xavier Woods torso. I think they could have went with that Dolph Z Ziggler or Bobby Roode thigh mold. I think these thighs are a little bit too jacked, I think, and I also think it makes him a little bit too tall. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure on that. And then lastly, I think the skin tone's wrong. I think we have a Dominic Mysterio situation right here where they probably need to upgrade his skin tone to the Dominic Mysterio updated skin tone. I think that would really add to the figure as well, but I really like the Carlito. I am so glad to finally have him in the line in elite form. Never seen an elite of him before. And again, we do have a Target exclusive Legends figure coming soon, but it's a great figure. I can't wait to get the chase as well. We do have the white gear, which I like. I really like it. It has the new boots and everything. It's a damn good figure. It poses around well. It moves freely. It doesn't feel tight. I think fetters, figure photographers, guys that want Carlito. This is a great Carlito. You got to grab this one, man. You got to grab this one if you're a Carlito guy. You want him for your shelf. Now, if you want him for your ruthless aggression stuff, maybe you want to wait for that Legends figure that's coming later this year or early next year. But in terms of just being a Carlito, this one's damn good. Now, I will say I think that the new apple hand hold is good. I wish the apple was a little bigger. I think it's a, kind of a small apple, you know, but at the same time, I really like the gripping apple hand. And I really wish he had a spitting apple head sculpt. That is something that I think would be fantastic. Either a chewing head sculpt, like he's chewing on the apple, or a, you know maybe an apple that's bitten out of is something they could implement later. But those are just some little nitpicks or some suggestions for future Carlito figures. But at the end of the day, man, I really enjoy these figures. I think they're great, man. If you want to grab them, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code promo code. Use code promo code. What the hell? Use code MD Toys to save yourselves ten percent, of course, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy leaving all your thoughts down below in the comment section as well as a huge shout out to our patreon members man you guys are unbelievable thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always you guys are unbelievable what about get, get it got my mind's going crazy as my mind my mouth is trying to spit words out at an alarming rate but i'm getting the hell out man i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one i'll catch you guys later